Building a commander deck is a complex construction. Perhaps most difficult of all is the proper proportions of your commander deck's mana base. Knowing the ratio of lands to spells is often not enough. Within your deck's lands, how many should be fetch lands? How many should be filter lands, tap lands, pain lands? This video will guide you through the process of building a tri-color commander mana base, with emphasis on land ratios for each land type. It will offer both a budget and optimal build for your deck. If you have not already seen my videos explaining what the commander format is, how to construct your first commander deck, or how to properly choose your commander, you may do so here, here, and here. For this video, let's begin with the basics. Generally speaking, no pun intended, the ratio of lands to spells is 38 plus lands and 8 plus accelerants for a total average of 46 mana sources. As always, your deck and its unique mana curve will affect this formula. You could very easily need to run 40 lands instead of 38 in a tricolor commander deck, but this video will work within the template of 38 lands and 8 accelerants, and then you, as the player and commander constructor, will need to test and adjust if necessary. So of those 38 lands in a tricolor commander deck, how many should be basic? You should run a combined total of 15 basic and utility lands. Of this 15, the more basic lands you run, the fewer utility lands can be run. What are utility lands? Utility lands refers to lands not run for mana, but instead run for other effects. For example, Reliquary Tower and Maze of Ith are both considered utility lands. If you were only running those two utility lands, then your mana base would include 13 basic lands for that grand total of 15. So how many utility lands versus basics should you run? This number is highly variable based upon your deck, but the general ratio is 9 basic lands and 6 utility lands. Of your 9 basic lands, you will need to use a ratio based on the color costs within your deck. For example, in an Esper deck where blue was needed most and white was needed least, you would run four islands, three swamps, and two plains. In an Esper deck where blue was overwhelmingly needed above the other colors, five islands and two swamps and plains might be run instead. The remaining six utility lands are entirely your determination based upon your deck. For example, a Kessig Wolf run will only be in a deck with access to red and green, and a Cavern of Souls will only be in a deck that has a strong tribal component. You must fill in in these six blanks for yourself, but some staple utility lands that are not color dependent include Strip Mine, Wasteland, Maze of If, Vesuva, Reliquary Tower, High Market, Glacial Chasm, and many more. Dual Lands a tricolor deck can and should run three dual lands. In an optimal Esper build, those three dual lands are Scrubland, Tundra, and Underground Sea. If you cannot afford the original dual lands, you should still run three dual lands in these colors, only they will need to be less optimal ones. We cannot replace them with Shock Lands, Filter Lands, or Pain Lands, as those are necessary components for the rest of the mana base. What then are our options? I recommend the following as dual land replacements for the original duels in this order. The puzzlingly named man lands, which turn not into humans, but rather elemental creatures, are a strong alternative. In Esper, we would run Celestial Colonnade, Creeping Tar Pit, and Shambling Vent. Our next best option are the Scry lands, which enter the battlefield tapped and allow us to scry one, which is very helpful in Commander. Finally, for an extreme budget, and very last on this list, are the check lands, super affordable budget alternatives to the original duels. In Esper, we would run a Drowned Catacomb, Glacial Fortress, and Isolated Chapel, but I recommend Scry lands or Man lands instead in any combination of the two. Shock lands. You cannot substitute original dual lands for shock lands because in addition to those, your mana base should include three shock lands. These currently are very affordable and I recommend securing your colors if you have not done so immediately. I assure you, price on these will go up. In Esper, we would run Godless Shrine, Hollowed Fountain, and Watery Grave. 
Next are the fetch lands, but how many should we run? I need to be very clear about this. In Commander, fetch lands do not significantly help with deck thinning. I'll repeat as there is great misconception about this. Running additional fetch lands for the purposes of deck thinning is a dead end. The effects are beyond negligible in Commander. If you wish, you can run less optimal fetch lands such as evolving wilds and so forth in the utility land slots for the purposes of mana fixing but deck thinning will not be achieved. And along these same lines, running a full nine of the optimal Zendikar Onslaught fetch lands will thin nothing but your wallet. You want to run three of these. In Esper, you would run Polluted Delta, Marsh Flats, and Flooded Strand. What if you cannot afford some or all of these? The next optimal fetch land to run are the Panoramas, which, if further mana is available, can function nearly identical to the Zendikar Onslaught fetches. In Esper, we would run Grixis, Bant, and of course the Esper Panoramas. Next are Filter Lands, and we will run three of these. Fetid Heath, Mystic Gate, and Sunken Ruins in Esper. The budget alternative to these would be the Bounce Lands, a commander staple that is highly affordable. These are sometimes run as up to three ofs in the utility land spots for decks that need extra fixing, so keep that option in mind. Next, we would run three Pain Lands. At our Car Waste, Caves of Koilos, and Underground River. It goes without saying that all tri-color decks would run one of the tri-lands. For us, that's an arcane sanctum. We have seven spots remaining. The next group of three are the other lands. This section is highly conditional based on your colors. It is where lands not yet mentioned that offer mana in your colors will go. For us in Esper, this would be one layer, an amazing card which unfortunately does not have a complete cycle and so will not be available for all tricolor combinations. One Tomb of Yawgmoth, which unfortunately is unique for black mana, and thus tricolor decks not in black have no need to run it and no alternative. You'll have to see what their colors offer instead. And this is also where we can include any of the non-used budget options, such as a Scryland or Checkland, or adjust in any combination. If you have three of the original duels, then the other lands are where you might fill your three scry lands. Depending on your colors, there is any number of unique mana lands or unused options available. Finally, there are four staple lands which we almost always will run. One of either a City of Brass or Mana Confluence, one Ancient Tomb, one Reflecting Pool, and of course there is no tri-colored deck whatsoever that should not be running a Command Tower. This brings us to 38 lands. If your deck requires 39 or 40 or so forth, you can add from the choices listed above. What about those eight accelerants? Obviously, you will run one soul ring because obviously, since we are in tri-colors, three signets will be needed, as well as an obelisk of Esper. There's many choices for the remaining three accelerants, but I advise two key runes and one talisman, or two talismans and one key rune. This section is, of course, highly flexible. And so we have our general breakdown for a tri-color deck. The ratios are, of course, dramatically different for one color, two color, and five color decks, so stay tuned for those videos in the future. But until then, I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to subscribe, like, share, or just by leaving a comment. And this video, like all my videos, has been made possible by a generous donation by our patron alums at Patreon, where contributions even as low as $1 a month are literally what has kept this channel going. It's because of viewers like you. So thank you.